Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be way different from all of my other content. I have never made this type of video ever on my channel. This video used to be one of my all-time favorite videos to watch back in the day. Do you guys remember like old school YouTube? Back when YouTube was like really, really thriving and like all of the OG beauty gurus and all of that, when everyone would do their what's in my purse, what's in my bag videos, I loved those videos. I don't know what it was, but everyone seemed to really love those videos. Those videos literally had like millions of views for whatever reason. If you really think about it, you're like, why does everybody love just like somebody showing you like what's in their purse? But there's something about it. And if you guys are like me and you grew up on old school YouTube and that is like major nostalgia for you, then this video will be a very big throwback. It is for me. I can't believe I'm filming this. I used to watch those videos back when I had no channel, obviously. And I always wanted to make one. So now that I'm finally making one of my own, one of these what's in my bag videos, even though I know nobody watches these videos anymore, like everyone's moved on to TikTok and 30 second videos and all of that. I know nobody will probably watch this video, but I feel like I'm living out my childhood dream filming this video. So today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. I know, super random, super old school, very much not done. Probably like two people are gonna watch this video, but Oh well. Today I am featuring a Teddy Blake bag. Teddy Blake actually reached out to me, crazily enough, when I saw their email. I was like, what? But they basically reached out to me wanting to send me one of their bags to try out and possibly let you guys know about them. And of course I had to say yes because Teddy Blake, I've always seen them and they have really, really cute stuff. I just never gotten anything. And a little bit of, I guess, background behind Teddy Blake. They're a luxury handbag company. They are all made in Italy and they are made alongside a lot of really high-end designers. The only reason why these are a little bit more affordable than your typical, you know, super, super high-end designers is just because they don't have that crazy high-end like logo behind them. So they are able to cut off a lot of that price point that's attached just because of the brand, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you're not even paying for the quality of something, you're literally just paying for the brand. So they are literally offering you that same luxury quality just at a much more affordable price and you can tell just just by holding this you can tell how sturdy it is here's the bag that i chose i love this little charm i feel like this is kind of like what sold it to me for whatever reason but this is what it looks like from the front it has this like crocodile pattern and then here's the back you get a zipper in the back you get the logo right here and you can hold it like this i love holding it like this but you also have the option of you can either keep this on or take it off. But you have the option of making it a um, cross body bag, which is really nice. That's normally how I wear my bags because I don't like having anything in my hand. The exact name of this bag is the Ava Croco Gold, and this is the 11 inch. I believe they have a bunch of other like sizes. You could get much smaller, you could get much bigger. I think this one is kind of like the perfect medium size, which is what I really wanted because I wanted it to hold like a good amount of things. I'm like an overpacker in every way. Whether I'm just leaving the house for like an hour to if I'm actually like going, going somewhere, I literally will pack as if I'm like moving there. And this is in dark green. It is offered in so many other colors, but I don't have any like dark green like this. I usually just go for like black bags because they go with everything. But I was like, you know what? Let me venture out and actually get a colored bag but not like too too colorful so i feel like this one's pretty like it still gives you a little bit of a pop of color but it's still pretty discreet because it is dark and i feel like my favorite part is just this little key little detail right here i don't know why i love it so much but i do and it says teddy blake new york on it and also all of the hardware on it is gold so you get gold details right there, the gold little locket, the um, logo, you get the gold legs on the bottom, and then also in the back, the zipper, everything is gold. And the way that you open this is you just kind of flip these up like that, and it just opens up. I can't really show this on camera because it's huge, but when you do receive your bag, it comes in this like giant box. Um, well, the box might be a little smaller depending on what size bag you get. But it comes in this box and on the inside, what I really like about it is that it comes with a 
dust bag so that just automatically gives you like luxury vibes because most luxury bags will come with a dust bag just so you can like store it away and keep it nice and safe so now with the exterior of the bag let's get into what i keep in it i keep a lot of stuff in it it's very random all right in no particular order let's start off with some of these these are lysol disinfecting wipes i am the type of person that likes to eat in my car <laughs> a lot and sometimes if i'm like on the go i haven't had time to wash my hands or whatever i will use these for that or i will disinfect my area they just come in handy for everything like it's a wipe you know like you literally need it for everything and then the next thing that is in here is this S-N-T-E, I don't know, that's I guess the brand name. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over TikTok. This is a hair wax stick. It is just like wax in a tube. And I use this whenever I do my like sleek back looks. And I like to keep this in my bag just in case I need to like touch up or I'm having like flyaways. Usually this is pretty good at just keeping it in place wherever you put it so usually I don't have to touch up but just in case I need to I keep this in my bag I got this off of Amazon I will link it in my storefront if you guys are interested but it makes life a lot easier because it's like a stick form you just throw your hair up in whatever style you want and you just sleek it back with this and it keeps it in place I have this buxom lip balm I will forever remember where I got this because I bought this at um, a Sephora in Times Square when I was there and I love this first of all it is such a good it is a lip balm but I feel like it offers so much more it's one of those kind of lip balms that you know looks kind of clear in here but it does like you'll see it kind of will get a little bit of like a pinky peachy tone as it like oxidizes on my lips and it does have like a bit of like a plumping effect because it has like this minty feel and the exact name of it is the powerful plump lip balm big o i don't know if they have this in like actual color colors but i really like this it's just like clear but it does give you a little bit of color next up i have hand cream this is the butterfly hand cream by bath and body works it smells really good it basically smells like sweet pea to me by bath and body works but i need to have a hand cream because i'm like i cringe if my hands are like super super dry or I just wash them and like, I don't know, they have that like weird feeling like when you rub them in. Sometimes I really need a hand cream, so that's what that's for. Next, a hairbrush. Ever since I put this in my bag, it has been life-changing because my husband loves to drive with the windows down and I don't because by the end of it, my hair is so disgustingly tangled and before I had a brush like this, I would hate it because afterwards where whenever we would get to wherever we would get to i would run my fingers through my hair and it'd be like like just caught because it was so tangled so i was like let me get a brush because i feel like i find myself in a lot of situations when i'm like out and about where i'm like Ugh, my hair doesn't feel smooth like it feels gross and tangly so ever since i've had this it has changed my life so i highly recommend it it's like a really like small thing that you would think wouldn't make a big difference but Trust me, it really does. I got this one, I think, at Target. It's uh, by Conair. And yeah, it's so helpful. They have like the compact hairbrushes too. I feel like those ones are not as good quality. Like the ones that are like round and then it comes with a mirror. I feel like this is like one of the best like travel hairbrushes that I've ever found. Like, okay, so obviously I'm a fragrance reviewer. I have a crap ton of fragrances in this bag, so don't judge me. I love my perfumes. And you guys are gonna see a lot more as I dig more into this bag. But the first one that I'm pulling out is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. You guys know if you watch my channel, I reviewed this so many times, but the actual perfume perfume, like the full size bottle comes in like a chocolate bar packaging and it's so cute. It's like a little pink chocolate bar. But it also like there's this gift set that you can get that comes with the full size perfume. And then it comes with a travel size which is a spray which I love because most travel sizes are roller balls which I hate. And this just smells like a sweet creamy chocolatey like pink chocolate type of scent. It's really good. Alright next up I have um oh yeah I have a receipt for blood work that I did uh, a few days ago because I have thyroid issues, I have Hashimoto's, so I get my blood work done very regularly just to like keep up with my levels and stuff like that. 
that's probably TMI, but that's what that is. Another thing that I have in here a lot of, um, just like perfumes, I also have a ton of lip products. The first one is this Rare Beauty um, liquid lipstick in the shade Transform. If you ever see me wear a red lip, not all the time, but more times than not, it will be Transform by Rare Beauty. I love this. I feel like there's something about red lipsticks that just don't look good with my skin tone. But this liquid lipstick in the shade Transform is like the only red that I feel like kind of suits my skin tone. And not only that, but the formula of these Rare Beauty liquid lipsticks is just on another level they're amazing and weirdly enough i actually have an entire swatch video with all of these or i think like most of them um the rare beauty liquid lipsticks like when they first came out i'll link that video up in the cards if you're like curious to see that in case you want to see what this uh looks like on the lips but yeah i love these honestly anything from rare beauty i'm like a sucker for and then i have a dior uh lip glow oil this one is rosewood and I really like this one. It's like kind of pinky, kind of peachy. To be honest, it comes off more like clear than anything. It just has like a slight little um, tint to it. And I more so just like these because of the formula. It's like a really, really thick oil that's not really sticky. And I, it makes my lips look really like juicy and full. Another lip balm. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil. This is my favorite lip balm, like lip balm, lip balm. Like I know I have this buxom one in here as well but this one's more so if i want like a little bit of color this is for when my lips like are going through it and i am a chronic lip biter so my lips are pretty much always going through it and yeah i always use this for when my lips are like super dry and cracked and bitten off i have my sunglasses these are my favorite sunglasses they're the ray-ban ones i have no idea what these like the style is called but I feel like I have such a weird head shape and no sunglasses ever suit my head. Like, I feel like I have a really tiny head. But these are like some of the only sunglasses that I actually feel like kind of suit my head shape. Next, I have these. I've literally never used them. But I'm, I put them in here just in case I need to. Because um, recently I bought a bunch of like travel little things because I'm going to be taking a trip soon. And I didn't want to bring these with me because I already had some different flossers that I was bringing. So I was like, let me just throw this in my bag. And it comes with like the floss floss. And then it also comes with these like toothpicks on the other side. So I thought that'd be like a nice thing to have just in case. Hand sanitizer, of course. This is just A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works. It smells super good. Snacks, I have to have something like sweet, especially because sometimes when I'm out and about, I get like anxiety or if I'm starting to feel panicky or something, especially with sour things. If you have anxiety and you get panic attacks, sour candy, like just something sour really helps for whatever reason because it kind of distracts your brain from that moment. So if I'm ever like out and I'm feeling like anxious or panicky or anything, I'll just eat one of these and it just kind of throws off my senses and kind of grounds you back to like reality because sometimes when you're having a panic attack and anxiety like major you are not really thinking straight obviously and this will kind of like bring you back to life but not even just for that i love these is like some of my favorite like sweet snack that's a little bit healthier because i've been just so active and going to the gym a lot i've also been obviously switching out the type of food that i eat and just making sure that i eat a little bit better because working out obviously is really important but you have to match that up with eating well as well you can't just like eat like crap but you work out and you expect that you're supposed to see a difference no like you have to they coexist of course there's a balance to things but these are actually so delicious this brand is like a healthier alternative to skittles and they have the normal ones as well like the normal skittles these ones are the sour skittles kind of mimic but they're organic and they're a lot better for you they don't have the horrible ingredients that are in actual skittles these are vegan gluten-free organic and non-gmo they are colored with real fruits no red 40 none of that in here they're peanut free they're made without like a ton of stuff they're just a lot better for you of course i have my wallet i have just like a basic little wallet that i got at like target another lip balm glossier uh 
what is this, cherrybomb.com. This smells so delicious. It's like the most delicious cherry lip balm flavor ever. And another lip product, this is the Sephora lip gloss. This is so good, by the way. The shade is like this iridescent, bluey, purpley color, and it's called Wild, number 10 Wild. I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see, but it's so pretty. I actually wear this in my videos a lot because I use it a lot as like a topper. But it gives like, I don't know, it shifts to like a million different colors. It's like kind of pink, kind of purple, kind of blue. It's like all over the place, but it's really, really pretty. And it's pretty affordable because it is the Sephora brand. I have a ton of these little um, perfume travel sprays. If you guys watch my video where I showed, I think it was like what perfumes I brought with me to vacation when I just had come back from Greece. I brought these with me on that vacation and then once I came back, there was a couple of these that were still pretty like full. So I was like, let me just move these onto my bag so that whenever I'm running out the door and I forget to wear perfume or whatever, I always have some with me. So I just threw these in and they're always with me now in case I wanna touch up or whatever. In here, I have Miami Glow because you guys know my love for Miami Glow. This is Killian Princess. This is Hot Couture by Givenchy. I don't even, like, I remember these just because of, like, the sound. This is, what is this? Why am I completely drawing a blank? I'm so confused right now. I don't know what this one is. You probably would know what this one is if you watched my uh, video where I showed the perfumes that I brought with me to my vacation. If you guys see this little purple one in that video, come back to this video and let me know in the comments what perfume that is. Because I'm, like, drawing a blank right now. It smells really good, but for some reason I can't, like pinpoint which perfume it is another lip product this is just the essence clear gloss these lip products are always like interchangeable like, i just throw them in whenever i'm like wearing a certain lip so these are just the lips that i've worn like the past few days to like a week that's why they're just like randomly thrown in here but i pretty much always use like a clear gloss to like top off any lip color and another lip product this is the fenty beauty these are like lip balm type of things these are so underrated they're actually so good and this actually opened up in this bag and it's a little messed up <laughs> right now this one is in the color glazed and it's like a really pretty peachy color it's kind of the same thing as like the makeup by mario lip balms or like the tart ones the maracuja tart lip oil type thingies that are like really popular it's kind of the same thing and this is the last lip product i swear this is just a lip balm by Burt's Bees. This is technically a lip product, but it's not an actual lip product. This is actually a cold sore like remover thing that I actually got when I went to Albania. And this is the end all be all of cold sores. It is an enemy of cold sores. I don't know if they sell this in the US. I don't think they do, but I cherish this. And I went over there um, last year for summer on our trip. I ended up getting a cold sore while I was there. And my husband's cousin that we were staying with at the time, he got this for me at like a pharmacy. And when I tell you, my cold sores get so big and they're so disgusting and they usually stay for honestly over a week they're so annoying but this literally made it disappear within like a day like it shrunk it crazy i was like what like give me like 50 tubes of that stuff and then i completely forgot but i totally should have bought so much more but i have a good amount of it for the next time i get a cold sore and this expires the 12th of 2023 so i have a little bit of time it's called fluoderma and that is what it looks like. It says that it's a product of Tirana, Albania, which is the capital of Albania, which is where I bought this. So yeah, you probably can't get this here, but it's so good. And then the very last thing that I have in this bag is this little perfume. Um, this is by Physicians Formula. It came in like a kit and this is literally like such a good perfume. It smells like, if you guys know the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, it smells like that. It's like that really tropical, amazing scent. It's like kind of vanilla-y, coconut-y. Now that I'm smelling it, it kind of reminds me, honestly, of the Sol de Janeiro scent. That is it. Those are all the contents of this bag that I'm keeping in right now. I know they're super random. I mean, I, I feel like I don't keep that many things in here. A lot of it is honestly just perfumes and lip products and my wallet. And just like a bunch of random things that I will put in it. But yeah, that is this bag. I am super in love with it. It literally feels so like heavy and sturdy and 
just you can like feel the good quality of it so thank you teddy blake for sending me this gorgeous bag i am absolutely in love with it i will link this exact bag in my description box if you're interested but that is it for this video i know super super random if you guys want any more of these like really really random videos let me know request them in the comments and i will make sure to do them because although these are like super random and probably nobody will watch them i love making them so if you guys are also nostalgic like me, let me know of any like old school videos that I should like bring back. That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and I will see you in my next video.